Hello, in this video I am going to draw isometric view of another combined solid. Problem is draw isometric projection of a hexagonal prism of side base 40 mm and height 60 mm with a right circular cone of base 40 mm as diameter and altitude 50 mm. It is resting on its top such that the axis of both solids are collinear. Here it is asked to draw isometric projection that means we have to foreshorten all the isometric lines but instead I am going to draw all isometric lines with actual length which results a solid of same shape but larger size with a scaling factor of root 3 is to root 2. First we will draw orthographic projection of this solid for that draw xy line first. This hexagonal prism in top view you will get one hexagon in shape. This prism will appear as a hexagon. I have drawn one hexagon of side 40 mm. Now this side is 40 mm. I have kept one side parallel to XY line. Nothing is mentioned so you can keep it like this. And above this you have to draw one circle. For that you need center of this hexagon. I have drawn two lines which are joining opposite corners of this uh, hexagon so that you got this center point. From this center point draw one circle of diameter 40 mm, base diameter 40 mm which will represent cone. This is the apex of cone and this is uh, base circle of the cone. Now this is uh, what you will get in top view. Now to project this in front view, this is the base of hexagonal prism. Now height of the prism is given 60 mm so draw one line axis which is equal to 60 mm. So in this way, this height is 60 mm. In this way, you get this uh, hexagonal prism. Over this, above this, you have to draw this uh, cone. For that, axis is collinear. So draw axis. Now height, this axis height is given 50 mm. So this height is 50 mm. At this top point is the apex of the cone. From this apex, join the end points. If you extend these points, these are actually uh, same length, this length, this this is same, same diameter, actually diameter is uh, diameter is 40 mm and side is 40 mm. So this side is 40 mm and this diameter is 40 mm. So both are at same uh, point. So here you will get, these are the two end points. So in this way you have got, you got front view and top view of the combined solid. Now we will draw isometric view. For that you have to enclose this bottom, uh, bottom base of this uh, hexagonal prism. Uh, with a rectangle in this rectangle. We know that all the horizontal and vertical lines in top view will be drawn along two axes which are inclined at a 30 degree. These are called isometric axis. So all, all the horizontal and vertical lines in top view are drawn along these two lines and all the horizontal line is drawn along any of these two lines and all vertical lines in front view is drawn perpendicular vertical to a vertical line along this direction. Draw one line and mark one point here. So I am marking this point. I am taking this point here, this corner point here. Now these two sides, this side of rectangle and this side of rectangle, these two should be drawn in this direction. That means 30 degree incline from XY line, from horizontal line. So draw two lines. I have drawn these two 30 degree incli incline and this length here to here, this length and this length same. Similarly, this length, you have to take this length equal to this length. Once you get these two uh, lines, draw uh, another line which is parallel to this from this point and uh, draw line parallel to this from this point. In that way, you will complete this rhombus. Once you get this rhombus, in this rhombus, you have to mark all these points, all these corner points of the hexagon. So how can you get, you measure this length, this length, this will be same as this one, this will be same as this one, these four lengths will be same. So take any one point, one length here and mark points, 10 points. So this point, this point I have drawn here. Similarly this side also, this side, this side, here also you will mark one point and here again. In this way you got these four points, one, two, three and four. These four points I have obtained here in these two lines. Now these two are middle points of this line. This line, what uh, you have drawn this line, middle point of this line mark this point. Similarly, middle point of this line mark this. So this is, these are the six corner points of the base. Now above top, at top also you have this hexagon. For drawing this hexagon, you need again these six points. 
now this height is directly given height is given hexagonal frames uh, height is 60 mm so this height is 60 mm what you have to do from each of these points draw vertical lines of 60 mm length so i have drawn from each point all lines are of same length of uh, 60 mm at the end you got these points these are the uh, top six points top corner points of the hexagon join these points now join this bottom side this one this one and this one these three lines i am drawing uh, i have not drawn these two lines uh, these three lines this line is not visible this is not visible and this line is not visible this point so i am i am not joining these points over this face you have to draw this uh, cone for that you need this base circle base circle means you need this center point what you have to do draw one line which is joining these two points now mark middle point of this you can join another two corner points also intersection of that will be the middle point or you can try directly measure this and mark center point so this is the center point of this uh, hexagon from this center point this is my center point uh, you have to draw this square now you can see that this length from here to here and here to here uh, this this is given uh, 40 mm is the base diameter so this di dimension is 20 mm from here to here and from here to here 20 mm so from this center point mark 20 mm this side and 20 mm this side so i have drawn one line 20 mm this side this point and 20 mm this point here and from this point from this point again i am drawing 20 mm line this side and 20 mm line this side so total is 40 mm in this way you got one line of uh, 40 mm and similarly this side also you have to draw two lines this line now remember that this is 20 mm this is 20 mm remember that this line is parallel to this line because this this is this the same line which we, i am drawing here this vertical line this is what i have drawn here now this line is parallel to this line parallel to this line so this should be parallel to this line in this way you got now join this corner point so in this way you will get this uh, another rhombus we have to draw this circle here the circle will appear as an ellipse for drawing ellipse we use four center method in the four centers these two are the two centers uh, smaller diagonal end points of this smaller diagonal now other two points can be obtained by joining uh, joining this point with center of this line and joining this point with center of this line intersection of these two will be another center similarly join this uh, point with center of this line and this point with center of this line you will get you will get another center point so these are the four centers one two three and four from these four centers you have to draw arcs to get the required ellipse from this s center this s center this s radius draw an arc so this arc i have drawn so this way you will get first arc now this s center this small length s radius draw another arc similarly this s center draw another arc with this radius so in this way you get a part of ellipse i am not drawing this part this as center and this as radius you have to draw this is not visible that's why i am not drawing that now next you need apex of this cone apex of this cone the height you can see in front view this is vertical line so vertical line will be represented vertical here in isometric view also so i have, I have drawn one line of this height height is given height of this cone is given 50 mm so i have drawn one line of length 50 mm top point will be apex so i mark this apex from this apex draw two lines which are tangent to this ellipse so you have to draw two lines now you can see this line i have drawn which is tangential to this part of ellipse and this is tangential to this part of ellipse now all visible lines you can make them thick so you i have made all these lines are thick thick and all unnecessary lines or hidden lines can be uh, erased you can uh, use your eraser and you can erase it so this is what you will get uh, finally as a isometric view this is what isometric view but you need isometric projection now this view is uh, larger in size so you can show that you can uh, state that scale you have taken a uh, rf is equal to root 3 is to root 2 that means um, this times greater size you have prepared this isometric view this is what uh, required isometric view of the given combined solid